don't have a PlayStation, but want to play some of the best games ever created? Well, now you can. You don't even need a great computer either. PlayStation Now has got you covered. I made this video to focus purely on the PC aspect of the service because I think a lot of people want to play PlayStation games without really having to invest in the console or a decent TV. So let's jump into it right now. You should play The Last of Us. You should play God of War. They are incredible. And even without a PlayStation, you can. But one, you need a controller to play, preferably a PlayStation 1. And two, you need a solid internet connection. And even still, the experience is kind of meh. Let me first quickly talk about the controller. Get this, in my Xbox Game Pass video, I show you how I use PlayStation 4 controller wirelessly on my laptop to play games. It was rad. On PlayStation Now's PC service, however, you cannot use their own controllers wirelessly. Uh. You have to tether it. Uh. So that sucks. But whatever, bring on the games. So as I mentioned, you need a solid internet connection. That's because you have to stream the games. This is what separates Game Pass from PS Now. Game Pass, you can download most games and run them at whatever resolution your computer is capable of. With PlayStation Now on PC, you have to stream the games, which when you have a decent computer, makes the quality look much worse than you are used to. I believe the frame rate is capped at 30 frames per second. The benefit for streaming only though is, you can take an otherwise crappy computer without a graphics card and play games on it with a reasonable gaming experience. That's why all these services are going streaming these days. I get it, it's pretty cool. But now, is it worth it to play The Last of Us or God of War streamed? I mean, yeah, it is, I suppose. If you don't have any other options, it will do in a pinch, but I don't recommend it. Honestly, I think you'd be better off buying a used PS4 Pro playing the games that you want, then selling the Pro after you're done with it. You should get PlayStation Now for PlayStation. It's sick. In fact, I just made my full PlayStation Now review video, which you can watch here. In it, I explain why I think it's a great service that you should get if you have a PlayStation. If you don't have a PlayStation and really wanna play PlayStation exclusives, then I think you might want to consider paying for just one month access, which is $9.99, and at that price, I think it's fine to try it out to see if it works for your setup. Again, it relies heavily on your internet speed and your computer controller setup. I did test it with a different Bluetooth controller and it did work fine, but again, the delay from the response playing the streamed games wasn't great for me. I think PS Now is great on PlayStation, but I just can't recommend it for PC only due to the frustrating controller options and limited performance of their games. If you were able to download the games, it would be a different story, but you can't. If you just have a PC and wanna get into gaming, I think I'm gonna have to lean towards Xbox Game Pass as my recommendation. The Xbox library has become incredible and their PC experience is far superior. Watch my full PlayStation Now review for PlayStation here. Watch my Xbox Game Pass review here. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time on The Sad Life. <laughs>